because I sort of create, and this comes back and reminds me maybe to the times of me doing my radio works. Um, um, it's possible to create a double stage on the acoustic level, which is quite independent from the image. And here you don't, in the beginning, you don't even know if he's speaking or if this is tape running or if maybe somebody else is speaking or um, where this voice comes, the acousmatic voice, as Michel Chion points it out. And this acousmatic voice um, is first separated from the body. Later on, uh, there will be scenes in which the actor actually uh, incorporates the text more and addresses them directly with intensity and a classical presence to the audience. Um, here it's rather um, an irritating separation of hearing and seeing. Um, but with a, we win a second stage, which I will use later on. Uh, in the next, next scenes, uh -huh, here, we have... Uh, the light comes. The light comes, enters as a protagonist, actually. Because, as you will see very soon, um, um, the light will change the movements of the actor. Usually it's the opposite. Usually an actor is going on stage and the follow is, is uh, focusing all the time. Here it's the opposite thing and um, according to what he says about our role in families. Oh, that's what the beam of fucks up. Okay, I'm sorry. I think we have to wait a second to, to get a new beamer. I was warned. Interruption. for your patience. I should mention at this point that the music is not my music. Um, um, it's true what Mr. Schmidt said that I'm a composer, but it doesn't mean that I compose all the time. Uh, very often, especially when I do theater plays, I rather work with compositions of better composers. And this, I think this part is a, this, this is a little part of a Russian composer named Mosolov 
quite an unknown composer in the beginning there was Shostakovich there's except the one one piece all the music of this theater play are composers from the 20th century string quartet composers I never composed for string quartet and um, but I think everybody else did so I had a big choice of wonderful music uh, who discovered this genre um, so intensively that I could dedicate uh, a lot of this piece to to wonderful composers um, so here we come to a scene, next scene, in which the text actually emancipates in its role um, to the music. Canetti says, in music words swim, words that usually walk. I love the pace of words, their paths, their stops, their stations. I mistrust their flowing. And then he says, phrases that shy away from another. Pause after pause, and in between quadrangles of the words like fortresses. A sentence by itself is clean. The very next one takes something from it. He likes sentences individually, single sentences. One can turn them over in one's hand. One can bolt them. One can choke them. Not to speak anymore. To place words next to one another, mutely, and watch them. Not to speak anymore. Let's do it. the little house which the actor brought in and while this little house is sort of developing its imagination we hear quite an enormous um, boost of sound which is in a strange antagonism or confrontation confrontative balance to the to the cuteness actually of this little object um, it's very hard to, to represent it in the video, but the house is, let's say, this, this big. And maybe you can bring up the sound a little bit. 